Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic foundations of business intelligence. Let us see learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to describe the capabilities and value of database management system. Capabilities of database management system discusses the three main capabilities of a database management system. Its data definition capability, data dictionary, and data manipulation language. To describe what characteristics of data would be stored by a data dictionary, that is, for example, name, description, size, type, format, other properties of the field. If you say for a large company, a data dictionary might also store characteristics such as usage, ownership, authorization, security, and users. Here uh, we discuss about data manipulation language. It is the tool that requests operations such as select, join to be performed on the data. If the user wants to data from the database, so they have to perform select operations and join operations which retrieve a data from the database. Here we see the example of an structure query language that is SQL query. There are two relations, one is part and another is supplier. Here relation means table and in SQL language we say it is relation. So there are two relations, one is part and another is supplier. So part and supplier, these two relations we required for retrieving a data from the database. So in the part relations, the fields are part number, then part name, then unit price and supplier number. In the supplier table, supplier number, supplier name, supplier street, supplier city, supplier state and supplier zip. Continuing of the same example of an SQL query, uh, this relation shows an example a SQL statement that would be used to retrieve data from a database. In this case, the SQL statement is retrieving records from the part table whose part number is either 137 or 150. So uh, we have to relate what each phrase of this statement is doing. For example, the statement says to take the columns as a part number, part name, supplier number, supplier name from the two tables part and supplier. When the conditions are true, the records will be retrieved from these two tables. Then in database approach to data management. This describes activities involved in describing a database. To create an efficient database, you must know what the relationships are among the various data elements, the types of data that will be stored and how the organization will need to manage the data. Here we should note that the conceptual database design is concerned with how the data elements will be grouped, what data in what tables will make the most efficient organizations. That is very, very important in this database approach to data management, where the users store the data into the databases and user performs using some select operations and join operations to retrieve and combine the data from the two tables. Here first we see the unnormalized relation in order, while the data are in the database tables. When the data are involved in the database table, the data are all in unnormalized relation. So in this diagram, it describes the activities involved in designing a database. To create an efficient database, we must know what the relationships are among the various data elements, the types of data that will be stored and how the organization will need to manage the data. Here we should note the conceptual database design is concerned with how the data elements will be grouped, what data in what tables will make the most efficient organization. 
So normalized tables we have created from the order database. So this shows the normalized tables. Here the order table has been broken down into four smaller related tables. Notice that the order table contains only two unique attributes order number and order date. The multiple atoms ordered are stored using the line atom table. The normalization means the very little data has to be duplicated when creating orders most of the information can be retrieved by using keys to the part and supply tables. It is important to note that the relation database systems try to enforce referential integrity rules to ensure that relationship between coupled tables remains consistent. When one table has a foreign key that points to another table, you may not add a record to the table. Here we are considering is a primary key and foreign key. Primary key shows a unique values in the column and foreign key shows the the record which is the column which is existing in the other table and which also shows the unique values from the two tables. The tables with the foreign key unless there is a corresponding record in the linked table. For example, foreign key supply number links the part table to the supplier table. A reference integrity means that a new part can't be added to the part table without a valid supplier number existing in the supplier table. It also means that if a supplier is deleted, any corresponding parts must be deleted also. Now we go for relational database. This relational database system is the relational database management system which manages a data in the databases. In the discussion about designing the databases, one technique database designers use in modeling the structure of the data is to use an entity relationship diagram that is called as a ER diagram. The symbols in the diagram illustrate the types of relationship between entities and we have to discuss the types of relationship there are between entities that is one to one, one to many and many to many. So in this diagram there are four figures, figure A contains one to one diagram, four, figure B contains one to many diagrams, many to one diagrams and many to many diagrams. An entity relationship diagram shows an example of an example of ER which shows that order can contain many line atoms. A part can be ordered many times and appear many times as a line atom in a single order. Each line atom can contain only one part. Each part can have only one supplier but many parts can be provided by the same supplier in this diagram. After discussing so many things, so there are, there is a question on based on whatever we have discussed up till now. The question is, what different types of relationships there are between entities? The answer, one to one, one to many and many to many. Now we go for business intelligence. This discusses the role of business intelligence in helping firms make better decisions. This uses the example of Harris Entertainment. For instance, the Harris Entertainment, the second largest gambling company in its industry, continually analyzes data about its customers gathered when people play its slot machines or users or use Harris casinos and hotels. Harris marketing department uses this information to build a detailed gambling profile based on a particular customer's ongoing value to the company. The information guides management decisions about how to cultivate the most profitable customers, encourage those customers to spend more and attract more customers with high revenue generating potential. Business intelligence has improved Harris profits so much that it has become an, the centerpiece of the firm's business strategy. So this diagram 
illustrate the process of transforming data into business intelligence. The business intelligence tools do not necessarily find clear cut answers but can find patterns and relationships in data that can greatly improve business decisions and offer insight into the business environment. In this diagram it shows as database, data warehouse and business intelligence diagram where the informations are processed from the database to the data, how, data warehouse and the people take the decisions properly in their business environment. Based on this discussion, there is a question, what are the types of information obtainable from data mining? The answer is associations, sequences, classification and clustering. and forecasting. So there are five types of information obtainable from data mining where we use these data mining tools in the business intelligence. For all these contents, these are the references. Thank you.